In this video, we're going to cover five risk factors for developing prostate cancer. Now, before we cover these, I think it's worth us understanding what the prostate is, as well as how it can be affected by cancer. But if you do want to skip ahead to the risk factors section of the video, then I've included the timestamps for the various subsections here. So let's talk about what the prostate is before we start getting into the risk factors. So prostate cancer is a malignant or cancerous tumor of the prostate. The prostate is a small walnut-shaped gland in males that produces the seminal fluid, which nourishes and transports sperm. Now prostate cancer is one of the most common types of cancer in men, and most grow slowly and are confined to the prostate gland where they may not cause serious harm. However, while some types of prostate cancer grow slowly and may need minimal or even no treatment, other types are aggressive and they can spread quickly, not only within the prostate itself, but also around the body. Now, prostate cancer that's detected early, whilst it's still confined to the prostate gland, does have the best chance for successful treatment. And I'm going to make a full video later on about key options for prostate cancer treatment. So now we understand a little bit more about what the prostate is, well let's take a look at some of the risk factors for developing prostate cancer. So one of the strongest risk factors is increasing age, and if you're 50 years old or over then this does increase your risk. Now although it is possible to develop prostate cancer under the age of 50, it is rare, with an estimated instance of just 0.1% for men under 50. So this means for every 1,000 people under the age of 50, only one is statistically likely to have prostate cancer. However, this risk does increase with age, and some studies have shown that by the age of 80, up to 70% of men will have evidence of prostate cancer. Now, the second risk factor is if you're a man of black ethnicity. In fact, the lifetime risk of being diagnosed with prostate cancer for a black male is 25% compared to just 12.5% for a white male. The lowest incident rates of prostate cancer are seen in people from Asia, particularly India, China and Japan. Now the exact reasons as to why black males are more likely to develop prostate cancer compared to non-black individuals is not fully known, but thankfully important research is currently being done into investigating this and this is being spearheaded in the UK by Prostate Cancer UK. If you are interested in learning more about this research, as well as possibly taking part in research studies, I've included a link in the description box of this video to their website where you can learn much more. Now the third risk factor is a family history of prostate cancer. So people are at higher risk of developing prostate cancer if they have a close relative, for example a brother or father who's had prostate cancer. One large research study which pulled together the data from lots of smaller research studies reported that men with one first degree relative, and by this I mean a brother or a father, with prostate cancer was almost two and a half times more likely to develop prostate cancer compared to a man with no first degree family history. The risk also seemed to be higher if the first degree relative was a brother rather than a father, as well as higher in men with two or more first degree relatives with a history of prostate cancer. Now the fourth possible risk factor are genetic factors. The genetic basis is still unclear, but prostate cancer specific germline mutations such as HOXB13 have been implicated. Germline mutations associated with other cancers such as the BRCA1 and 2 genes which are responsible for inherited breast cancer have also been associated with increased risks of prostate cancer and so your doctor may ask you about this. Finally, some people ask about body weight or body mass index. Now, the relationship between weight or BMI and prostate cancer isn't fully clear. A large study which looked at lots of peer-reviewed research studies found that the evidence showed little or no evidence of an association between BMI and risk of prostate cancer or advanced prostate cancer. However, more research does need to be done into this area. This being said, either way, maintaining a healthy weight and eating a nutritionally balanced diet does remain important for all other aspects of your health. So nonetheless, I would strongly encourage this. I've also included lots more useful information and resources on prostate cancer in the description box, including things such as symptoms and signs, as well as treatment and investigations, so please do take a look at these. I hope you enjoyed the video and you learned something new, and if you did, please remember to consider liking the video, leave me a comment if you want to share your thoughts, and please consider subscribing to the channel for weekly medical education videos if you've not done so already. Finally, I do have to stress that I've designed this as an educational and general information video, not an individual clinical advice video, and for medical legal reasons, please do read my full disclaimer in the description box of the video. If you do have concerns about your prostate, then please do speak to your doctor. As ever, thank you for watching, and until next time, bye.